guys, it's Molly. Tonight's piece is going to be a 20 by 20 inch, um, kind of like a cloud pour. I'm going for those pearl cells again. I'm gonna do a ring pour in the middle and then hopefully have those multicolored cells on the outside. So I'm using some deco art um, colors. I think one of them is aquamarine, which is a really beautiful like greenish blue color. Um, I'm using the 24 karat gold again and then some satin enamel as well. So I'm just going kind of for a, for a kind of, I don't know, kind of a cloudy puffy effect in this one. So we'll see what happens. Hey guys, all right, so I did a while back a um, satin enamel and extreme sheen um, ring pour, and I wanted to do that again. So the paints in the middle, they don't have any, I always do this, I think I have too much paint, I'm gonna have to stretch a lot of it off. The paints in the middle um, are just mixed with Floetrol, and water and then in the outside I'm gonna have the satin enamel in the white and then um, I have the extreme sheen and I'm using silver aquamarine and gold I wanted no white in the center of this dang it <laughs> of this piece so I think I'm gonna start this is just like my pre-mixed bottle that I have a very thin white acrylic paint and and satin enamel. I did one of these a little while back. Uh, the video never made it out because as I was squeezing, I squeezed so hard that the entire top came off and the entire thing just splattered everywhere. So needless to say, that video didn't make it to real. It might make it to my next blooper video. You know, I haven't done one of those in a while. I called them my fails for a while, but I tell you guys not to call them fails, so I probably shouldn't call them fails either. So now I'm just going to go around. These may be actually a little bit thick to get the effect. I don't know. You guys know I don't normally measure my stuff, so. And I definitely have too much paint, dang it. All right, so the rest of this is just gonna be satin enamel around the outside. And I'm gonna refrain from doing any injection pours in the middle. If you guys saw my ocean pour that I did like that, yeah. Didn't like that effect that much. Okay, if I need more, I'll get more. All right, so I, I really like this with nothing. So the phthalo blue and the Payne's gray mixed with this gold creates like this phthalo green color that's just absolutely amazing. All right, I painted my sides already so that whatever drips over, because sometimes with the pearl cells, because the paint is a little bit thinner, um, it doesn't cover the sides that well. Okay, my paint's moving in a good, oop, I've got one blob. Let me get that out. Okay, I'm sure there'll be a couple more blobs. I'll get those out as I go. Okay, now I have to find where the weight of my paint is for the center. Yeah, I think my paint may be a little bit too thick, actually, to get the effect. I don't know. I'll see. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit of it from the white over here, but I don't know if I'm gonna get any from my, my extreme sheen. Um, I'll see. Oh my gosh, this is difficult to, uh, to tilt around. But you really wanna get a lot of the paint off of there. Oh, I kinda like it off center because the whole point, like these pop up when the paint comes off of the canvas, when the paint is stretched out. So, let me get my sides. 
Ooh, I'm liking it so far. There's a couple that are popping up around here. Oh man, I don't like this. I don't like that extra little cell that popped up there. Go away. Go away, what are you doing there? Ugh, I don't want that cell there. And if I tilt more, these are gonna stretch out. Let me see if I can tilt just a little bit and not stretch them too much, but maybe get that one little blob off. The more paint you tilt off, the more potential you have for cells popping up. But then the wonkier some of the other cells may get. So you just gotta remember that. Stretch it back and you should get those cells again. Okay, so I will leave this be and see how it turns out. I may have to fiddle with this part right here. I don't like that. I may pour some more gold. Actually, I can do it while I'm on camera. See, I've got these little, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I should pour this through there or not, you guys. Uh, I gotta experiment, right? So I think I'm just gonna pour straight through there. Maybe it'll give it some pizzazz. I think I might go through just with this other, because it actually already had aqua in it. The line that I poured over. And then I'll just touch those two together right there. That satin enamel is powerful. That stuff takes over like immediately. All right. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. Just stretching some of this out. Ooh, I have really cool cells popping up right there. I'm actually just taking this all the way over to the side because I kind of like it like this. Okay, I'll get my edges later. So we'll see how it dries. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like the line that I did through it or not. I probably just should have left it, but I'm actually going to do another ring pour right here and stretch this out because I didn't really, I don't care for the way that that ended up coming out right there. So this is the rest of the extreme sheen colors. It's probably going to stretch this out. It may completely, well, I kind of like it like that, but... <laughs> Oh, art. Crap. Um, okay. So let me just pick it back up like a woman. Move this thing around. So you guys don't let the paint rule you. You rule your paint, you know? You don't like it, you fix it. I'm actually liking this a lot better. I don't know how it's gonna dry this way, but dang it, let's see that piece. There we go. I would rather have kind of crazy wonky cells than to have a piece that I just don't like at all. This, this river is still bothering me a little bit. OK, 
Okay, sometimes you guys ask for me to fix paintings on camera because I normally do them off camera. What I'm trying to do is catch that edge right there and roll that on around. Okay. I, I like this now. It's super weird. It's not like my pretty, you know, oh my God, I just dripped that. I'm talking to you and I just dripped that. I'm not fiddling, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Whoever gets this, you got that. Yay! Wah! Okay, I had to take my top light off because of uh, the glare, but now I love these extra lines that I put in there. Oh man, I love it. Look at all those cells. So sorry if you guys stuck around with me this entire time. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that little gold veining that happened in there. What? I'm in love with this now. See, if you guys don't like it, fix it. Look at the sides. Can you guys see those sides? What? Sorry, I get excited over my own paintings. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll show you the dried result. I shouldn't even tell you happy painting yet. I'll show you the dried result. <laughs> oh my Lord, I'm insane. Okay, bye. Okay, here it is. Look at the sides. I just love that about it. Everything flows straight back over. This this is almost looks like it's like metallic and shimmery there, but it's not. Of course, I can't pick up on the camera how freaking shimmery this gold is. But there's little specks of gold in between each of these. I'm getting that effect that I want where I have like the multicolored cells coming in towards the center. I love the gold veining that's through here and up top over here. I just, I struggled, you guys. I fought with this one. But you know what? I didn't like it. I said, let's see what happens. And I really, really like it now. Like a lot. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy painting.